In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop the run out of the shotgun bunch in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players they could possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to click subscribe down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day right here on the YouTube channel. Now, like I said in this video, we're talking about how you can stop the run out of the gun bunch. And I'm actually getting to a point now, I've been putting a ton of lab work and uh, really been studying abilities and different coverage schemes and different pressure schemes. And honestly, I'm starting to feel somewhat okay on defense in terms of the ability to be able to stop both the run and the pass from the most popular formations in the game. And so I actually released a defensive guide on the nickel 335 odd. I think the 335 odd is the most um, successful defense up to this point in the season it's able to stop the pass very very well it's also able to hang pretty tight against the run and if you ever need any help you can always audible to the 335 wide which you have in your audibles or the nickel 245 so you know this is a great all-around defense so if you want to get my defensive guide my new york giants defensive guide i'm going to put a link to the entire defense in the description below um, you can get the full defensive system for just $15. Um, super, super cheap, super affordable. Again, there's a link in the description where you can go get that. And if you want to get a free sample of this defense, I have a one-hour preview in my text message membership. All you have to do to sign up for that is text the word MADDEN to 208-218-6900. Again, text the word MADDEN to 208-218-6900. Okay, guys, so in this video, we're talking about how you can stop the run uh, out of the Gun Bunch offset. And the Gun Bunch offset this year actually has a very good run, especially in the Carolina book, um, that's called Inside Zone Split. This run is really hard to stop, um, especially from 335 wide this year, because 335 wide has been, I'm not going to say it's been nerfed, but the inside zone run defense out of 335 wide is definitely not what it used to be. And so, this is part of why I really like basing out of the 335 odd because I find that it is a very good defense for stopping any kind of shotgun run. And we're going to show you how to do that out of the LD Cross 3 Show 2. So, as far as the setup goes, really simple setup. All we're going to do is we're going to uh, spread our defensive line. We're going to crash our defensive line down. I like to show blitz, kind of bring these safeties down into the box. And then we're going to take our user and we're actually going to go put him right here. Uh, right in this little gap right in this pocket right here and what you're going to see at the snap of the ball is we're just going to essentially crowd in and you're going to see we're going to get either an easy shed or one of the things that we actually get fairly consistently is we get this linebacker right here to basically clog the run lane and so they'll kind of go to him and look at that loop or just take that run away this is one of my favorite little ways to stop inside zone and because you can actually get not only you're going to be able to stop inside zone with this but this is a really, really good blitzing defense as well. You're going to get really good pressure in this alignment. But if you take a look here, this is about the perfect um, kind of position to be able to stop this. So the tight end is going to basically go block your user or the, or the uh, two defensive ends that are coming free off the edge. So there's no cutback opportunity for this. And then as you see here, that looping blitz angle and the three red hook are both coming down into the box to be able to take this away. Now, as far as stopping any kind of quick pass um, out of this type of situation, I like to put the, um, I like to go ahead and shade my coverage underneath and outside. So you're gonna see here, I'm gonna shade outside and I'm gonna shade underneath. That's gonna create a hard flat. I think that three red hook zone really does a good job at stopping anything over the middle quick, like a quick crosser or something like that. So then you're gonna see, I'm just gonna jump out here and if they try to throw the flat, my user is gonna lurk the flat zone and as you can see, it's a great little defense against Gun Bunch. Now, in Madden 22, one of the things I really want to put you on early is the flat zone KO. The flat zone KO ability, I think, is probably the best pass defensive ability right now. You're going to see that you're going to be able to take away hard flats. And if you actually shade your coverage up, you can actually take away hard flats in terms of like a quick flat route. And you can also take away an out route if they would run something like to play Flood. You have that ability as well. That's why I like the flat zone knockout uh, ability. So anyway, as you can see here, we get this, this defense. And once again, I just want to show this against the run. That time we, I think that time we stood a little bit too, uh, a little bit too close with your user. It is a little bit of an art as far as where to stand. I like to stand kind of right, you know, right, honestly, right in front of him. To me, works the best. So you see inside zone, and there you see us able to him loop in and able to stop it. 
Now, another little trick as far as where to stand uh, that you can do out of this is you can stand a little bit more to the side. So something like right in here. And what you'll see is, again, that looper come clean. And this is not only good for your looping blitz in terms of run defense, but it also is really good for your looping blitz in terms of pass defense. So, for example, um, you know, one of the most popular plays in the game this year is the verticals concept. And so what I like to do out of this is, especially if I'm, you know, potential for pass, a lot of times they like to put their running back on in route. So you see here, I can just cover the in route. And as you can see, we're able to take away the majority of what they're going to do uh, from an offensive perspective. If you want to, you can cross man. Um, you can cross man that slot corner or that slot receiver. Uh, that's just going to make the run defense even better. But it's also going to help significantly uh, against things like the play verticals because if they're to snap that throw, you got a guy right in that position. So, all in all, guys, this is one of my favorite defenses, at least at this point in the season, um, for a defending gun bunch. You know, another thing you can do is man up the running back. I find manning up the running back to be a little bit more consistent in terms of stopping, you know, running back flat passes and kind of containing the running back a little bit. And then if you wanted to, you could actually take that linebacker that's blitzing and man him up on the circle receiver. This is a little bit more of a coverage-based version of the defense. But what you're going to see is if they run the ball, you're still going to have that same opportunity to be able to come in and be able to make a stop. It just might not be as as dominant in terms of, like, blowing it up in the backfield. Uh, right there, I didn't get really good um, – I didn't really put a good user uh, in that vicinity. So let me show you that again. So inside zone, I'm just going to man him up. So you see here, I'm only sitting four now uh, at the quarterback, a little bit more of a base rush. But what you'll see here is you're still going to get that guy to shoot in that gap. He's just not quite – he's not quite going to shoot down as much, so it's more of a contain-style uh, run defense. But, you know, you can also, like I said, cross man. If you're worried about verticals, you could easily just cross man that circle receiver. And then if they run the ball, as you can see, that is an absolute bag of the run. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I would encourage you if you want to dive deeper into this 3 through 5 defense – um, and just learn how to shut down things like bunch and compression and trips and all that stuff Go ahead and uh, grab the defense. It's in the description of this video I put a link down there. All you gotta do is go down click that link It'll take you right to the website One of the things I also want to let you know is that that ebook is actually updates uh, Pretty much every single day. I add something to that defensive guide new concepts new abilities new tips so you're getting a lot of updates especially in the beginning of the season so that you can have the most up-to-date meta defensive scheme that you could possibly have and so you know if they ever patch the game in terms of patching the zone coverage or they ever patch the match coverages or they patch different abilities or they patch uh run defenses or they patch blitzes this guide will continue to update on that alongside of this specific formation and this specific defensive playbook so thanks for watching the video and if you want to get that defensive guide it's available for just 15 bucks down in the description if you want to get a free sample of that then text the word madden to 208-218-6900 hope you guys grab that defensive guide let me know how it's been working for you and again if you want to pick up that guide it is in available at the link down below in the description